Welcome everybody. Today we are going to be showing you how to put on duck and goose decoy heads. So today we actually have brand new decoys from Tangle Free. These are actually the Pro Series Canada Goose Floaters. These are just some incredible looking decoys here as you can see. Um, and so those are the, the Canada Goose Floaters. I'm going to grab the head here too out of here. Um, but a lot of times when you get brand new decoys you may notice that it's actually um, a little bit challenging to put the heads on. In this case you know here I'm just trying to push down and turn once you get it lined up and, and it's just a little bit challenging sometimes with brand new decoys. And that's totally normal and it's actually intended so that they are going to fit on tight. So a couple things you can do is, one is just grab a, a piece of fine grain sandpaper and you can actually just take that here and what you're going to want to do is just get rid of so you can see there's a little bit of extra flocking that a lot of times stays on there and that's no problem that's normal to come from the factory like that but you just want to use your sandpaper and just kind of get some of that off there as best as you can so give me one second here and you're just going to try to get that on all those edges just get rid of the extra flocking You can also on the on the decoy just see if there's any you know you want to check out here too and see if you notice any you know extra material that might just have been left behind from the manufacturing process. But on here you can just see I'm just trying to get rid of this little bit of extra flocking right there. Okay, and so that's one thing you can do. And then the other thing you can actually do is take like a blow dryer and use that to actually heat up the bottom of the decoy here and just warm up that, that kind of that hard plastic for just a moment as you insert it. So let me do that here. So now that we've got that warming, you're going to get that on there right away. Now we line it up and you're going to want to push down really hard and turn that head on. And there we go. So now you can see we've got our decoy head on and that's normal for it to, you know, for you have to push down pretty hard and turn. But by warming up the head a little bit, that certainly helps and then also a little bit of sandpaper will help you out. If you do have more questions on how to fix duck or goose decoys or also how to set up your duck and goose decoys, visit howtofixduckandgoosedecoys.com. We also have free printable instructions for this, so head out there for that. And, um, and finally, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We have lots of other instructions on how to fix, repair, and paint duck and goose decoys. Thank you.